uh, we are expecting uh, that a very severe cyclone which is at sea at the moment it has reached uh, close to the coastline of West Bengal and Odisha it's about 60 kilometers uh, away as of now from Balasore and that is the epicenter of uh, in fact uh, this very severe cyclone yes it's going to make an uh, landing as far as uh, you know south of Balasore near Dhamra port around noon well the wind speed like uh, Moni was talking about uh, Moni Deepa was telling us uh, the wind speeds yes those have lessened the forecast says now that the wind speeds could be gusting to 155 kilometers per hour and this cyclonic storm which is very severe in nature at the moment it is continuing to stay at sea it is going to make landfall around noon and from there on it's going to uh, in fact uh, lessen as far as category is concerned from a very severe cyclone it's going to become a severe cyclone and that is expected very soon after uh, landfall by the evening it's expected to become a cyclone and that's going to happen by uh, later at night say about 11 30 it'll be down to a category of a cyclone do remember during Tau Te, it remained a cyclone for almost 24 hours and this time around we're expecting that uh, the situation as far as this storm is concerned it will lessen uh, in fact uh, quite uh, soon after it makes landfall which is expected south of Balasore during noon so like the areas that have been mentioned all the areas uh, like uh, Bidnipur also uh, north and south 24 Parganas as well as areas of not just West Bengal and Orisha but people in Bihar and Jharkhand also have to be very careful because very heavy showers are expected in the area. There's a red alert warning for Odisha, for West Bengal as well as Jharkhand today. And there's a red alert warning for Bihar and Jharkhand tomorrow as well. So we are expecting this uh, system to continue to affect areas within the region. We also have with us uh, Mahesh Palawat of uh, SkyMed joining us. Uh, a very good morning, uh, Mahesh. Uh, if you can just tell us exactly where the storm is at the moment and how bad is the storm going to be? Yeah, Devya, it is at present uh, south south east of uh, around 25 kilometers south south east of Dhamra and uh, around 50 kilometers south east of uh, uh, Balasore. And it is going to make a landfall. Um, landfall will commence in a couple of hours and it will continue for another two hours. Say from between 10 and 12, uh, it will make landfall. And uh, as a, a severe cyclone, and wind speed will be 130 to 140 kilometers per hour. And after making landfall, it will continue its movement in northwesterly direction towards interior parts of Odisha as well as uh, it will degenerate into a cyclone by evening or night over uh, parts of Jharkhand. And uh, many parts of Jharkhand, particularly uh, uh, East Singbomi, West Singbomi, Jamshedpur, Kunti, uh, uh, Dalton Ganj and Rachi uh, may receive heavy to very heavy rainfall, but wind speed will keep on decreasing at it, uh, make its journey towards northwest direction over Jharkhand. Right, yeah. just to find out exactly how much it's raining at the moment, uh, let's go across uh, to my colleague Manish uh, who's uh, joining us. Yes, uh, right now we are at this Diga of Seafront and you can see that the uh, Seafront is now flooded. It's completely flooded. The high tide Manish, well, Manish, they're reporting from Diga. Manish, your audio is not very clear. And do stay safe. We can see how that water has surged, uh, Divya, onto the uh, the, uh, the the joining uh, coastline. And uh, that is the reason why so many lakhs of people have been evacuated uh, from there. Let's go back to uh, Mahesh Palawat. If you could tell us more, you know, we're, we're told the wind speeds will gust to 185 kilometers per hour. And if you could explain to our viewers what this really means. Uh, see, earlier we were expecting that uh, wind speed will be 160 to 170 km per hour and will be gu in gust it may reach to 180 km per hour. But as the cyclone has reached near the coast and uh, due to increased vertical wind shear and low sea surface temperature, it has weakened a bit and now wind speed will not be as severe as it was predicted. Now it will be in the order of 130 to 140 km. But these winds, uh, winds are also damaging and it has potential of widespread damage. So therefore, I urge people not to venture out uh, into sea or out of their house for, until today evening. Thereafter, the, as the wind speed, because at the time of landfall, wind speed will be maximum 
and after landfall, next uh, three to four hours are very crucial. And uh, thereafter, wind speed will start decreasing and rain, uh, rain activities will also start decreasing. Right, uh, Mahesh, uh, if we can just compare this to Cyclone Taute, which uh, occurred just last week. Uh, well, uh, the, uh, the status as far as uh, this cyclone is concerned, it is a very severe cyclone, just like, severe, uh, like Taute. But uh, can this uh, system affect uh, the coastline for a longer duration, just the way Taute did? Uh, no, uh, we are actually that uh, cyclone Taute uh, made a landfall as a very severe cyclone and it continued its journey towards northern parts of the country and interaction with western disturbance uh, led to uh, very intense rain over northwest India as well. But this particular cyclone, after making a landfall, the, westerly uh, the winds from westerly direction will be dry in nature, therefore the moisture will completely cut off and it will uh, help in degenerating it very rapidly and by, at the time, it reach over, uh, uh, say, uh, southern parts of Jharkhand, it will be as a deep depression or at the most it will be as a cyclone and wind speed will be around 70 to 80 km per hour only. Right. Uh, Mahesh, uh, what kind of rainfall are we expecting? Uh, we expect that an already uh, in the excess of uh, 150 to 160 millimeter rain has already occurred over Chandwali and adjoining area. But uh, now uh, rain activities will continue until uh, today evening and in the excess of 100 meters today as well, uh, we expect 100, uh, 100 to 150 kilometers. But the uh, South Pargana, Midripur, uh, Jhargaon, all these areas uh, will receive much lesser rainfall and wind speed will be also in the order of 70 to 80 kilometers per hour. Then in gust it may reach to 100 kilometers per hour. Therefore, the maximum one will be, uh, be, uh, will be worn by uh, northern parts of Odisha. Right, Mr. Palavak, is this now going to become some kind of an annual event or more frequent cyclones in the Bay of Bengal? We, we have uh, Yas right now, uh, we had Amphan last year, before that there was Cyclone Alia that also affected this coastline and we're seeing, our, uh, if you could just take us through how we're seeing more frequent uh, such weather, extreme weather occurrences. Uh, see, Deepa, this is the peak, uh, uh, there are two peaks, uh, in Indian Ocean as well as over Bay, Bay of Bengal and uh, Arabian Sea, uh, the month of May, uh, usually witness it during pre monsoon season, maximum number of cyclones, either in Bay of Bengal or Arabian Sea. And next peak will be around uh, October, November and December. So it is usual, but now as we have seen that due to climate change, sea surface temperatures are also increasing over Arabian Sea. That's why now intensity and frequency of cyclones emerging in uh, Arabian Sea has also increased. Therefore, we expect that now the more uh, the uh, intensity and the frequency will keep on increasing over Bay of Bengal as well as over Arabian Sea. And uh, we may witness a very severe cyclone, extremely severe cyclone or super cyclone like Amphan, which we have seen last uh, last year. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, Mahesh Palawat, if you can, uh, you did mention the pre-monsoon season. Is the impact of this cyclone going to impact uh, the arrival of the monsoon in Kerala? Uh, yeah. Uh, this uh, particular cyclone uh, will pull the uh, westerly winds uh, from Arabian Sea. That's why the onset of monsoon will be on time or uh, say uh, before time by one or two uh, days. And uh, after the onset, the progress of monsoon over western parts of the country, particularly west coast of the country, up to Maharashtra or Mumbai, seems to be very satisfactory. Therefore, we expect that monsoon will make an onset around May 30, as this climate has already mentioned. And it will continue its journey towards uh, southern parts of Gujarat or up to at least northern parts of uh, Maharashtra, that is up to Mumbai, well before time. Right, uh, Mahesh. Uh, so you are saying, uh, and last time around when we saw uh, Cyclone Taute, it did affect the northern part of the country as well. Can this uh, weather system impact the other regions, including uh, coming up towards the northern part of the country? Uh, see, because this particular cyclone will start degenerating very rapidly, but we expect heavy to very heavy rain to continue over many parts of Jharkhand, particularly uh, almost all the uh, all the districts of Jharkhand, and moderate rain with one or two heavy spell over eastern and uh, south, uh, uh, sorry, western and southwestern parts of uh, uh, Bihar, and uh, south uh, eastern parts of uh, Uttar Pradesh, and uh, parts of Chhattisgarh during next two days. And after reaching uh, over uh, eastern parts of uh, Uttar Pradesh, the weather, uh, this weather system will be as a low pressure area or well marked low pressure area. So its impact will be felt up to Nepal hills, but it will not move up to central parts of UP or northwest India. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Mahesh Palavat, for joining us.